Number 33. In one of the classic nuclear physics experiments at the beginning of the 20th century, an alpha particle was accelerated toward a gold nucleus and its path was substantially deflected by the Coulomb interaction. If the energy of the doubly charged alpha nucleus was 5 mega electron volts, how close to the gold nucleus, which had 79 protons, could it come before being deflected? So um, here's the gold nucleus, has 79 protons. Here's the alpha particle. It said it's doubly charged. So it has basically a, a plus two charge there. What I can do now, just from that information alone, is I can calculate the charge then of the gold nucleus, right? In terms of coulombs. So it'd simply be 79 times then 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th, because this is the charge for every single elemental charge, whether it's an electron or a proton. So why don't we just do that, okay? So 79 times 1.6 times 10 times 10. Oh, no, okay. Third time's a charm. Time 10 to the minus 16th. 19th, what? I think the calculation's right. So this is 1.264 times 10 to the minus 17th coulombs, okay? That's the total charge there of the gold nucleus. All right. And where's my box button? There it is. All right, good enough. Now, what's the total charge then of this alpha particle? Well, just take now 2 and multiply it by the 1.6 value, right? 2 times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th. And I, why did I, I, I don't know why I need to calculate for that. So the charge here, the net charge of that uh, alpha particle is basically 3.2. Uh, 3.2 times 10 to the minus 19th uh, coulombs. All right, cool. Next thing they tell me is that the energy um, of this alpha particle is going to be essentially changing, all right, by five mega electron volts, but you know we need that in, we would, I mean, we could probably do this all in electron volts, but let me get rid of that unit. I don't like to work with it. So for every one mega electron volt, there's 10 to the six electron volts. And then I want to bring this down into joules. So the standard unit for physics. So one electron volt is equivalent to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th joules. And let's just do that. So five multiplied by 10 raised to the sixth, then multiplied by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th. And it comes out to be about uh, eight, eight times 10 to the minus 13th. All right, and that's in terms of joules. So this is the change in the potential energy. So notice if I know the charge, right, of the alpha particle, and I know essentially the change in its energy, then I can simply calculate the change in its potential, right, by using the formula over there on the right-hand side. So the change in its potential is going to be equal to the change in its potential energy. I know the terms are confusing. Divided by then, I explained it hopefully. Um, well, not hopefully. I think I did um, in the in the beginning of the chapter. Um, divided by then the charge. Okay, so. Let's just simply find the change in its volt in its potential. So this is eight times ten to the minus thirteenth, all then divided by three point two times ten to the minus nineteenth. And let's see. So we get divide that by three point two times ten to the minus nineteenth, and we find that its potential change is going to be about two point five times ten. We got three. It looks like six. Okay, times ten to the sixth. And that's in terms of volts. Now, here's the key to the problem. Whatever uh, the um, alpha particles change in potential is, is due to the potential being produced at the point of deflection by the gold nucleus. So basically, the highlight here is that this change in the potential of the um, alpha particle will be equal to the potential being produced at the point of deflection by the gold nucleus. So in other words, what I highlight over here on the right-hand side in terms of the formulas, they're equal. They're going to be equal. So watch now. I'm going to go to my new formula, and I'm going to talk about this in reference to the uh, gold uh, nucleus now. So the voltage being produced by that gold nucleus is equal to the electrostatic constant K multiplied by the charge that's producing that potential divided then by the distance relative to that charge producing the potential and the point that we're measuring the potential or that we know the potential of, or we know the potential change of. Okay, so now I can solve this for R. 
much. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. All we got to do is now plug it in. So 9 times 10 to the 9th, the Q value here, and now remember, this is in reference to the gold nucleus. So you got like two charges, you might be thinking about, well, which one am I going to do? You got to be consistent. If we're talking about the distance relative to the gold nucleus, and we're talking about then the potential being produced by the gold nucleus, which remember was the same as the change in the potential uh, for the um, alpha particle, then we have to be using the charge of that gold nucleus. Okay, so that's going to be the 1.264, 1.264 times 10 to the minus 17th. And then that's all divided by then that voltage of 2.5 times 10 to the 6th. Now let's see what we get. So 9 times 10 to the 9 multiplied by 1.264 times 10 to the minus 17th. Divide it then by that value. And look at that, R is 4.55 roughly times 10 to the negative 14th, and that's in terms of meters. All right, if you need it in a different unit, you know what to do. And that is all, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe and hit that like button, and we look forward to producing more videos. Take care.